we're starting another monthly reset video i did this for the first time last month and you guys really liked it so i thought let's try to do it again this month i'm not having the new month scaries like i was last month and i'm actually happy because a lot of you guys resonated with me on that where it's like yes it's exciting to start a new week start a new month start a new year but you could also get like this crippling anxiety around it of like you're excited for it but you got too excited to where that actually leads you into doing nothing because now you've like built it up to be this big thing i feel like i'm kind of like having chill vibes right now so i'm actually i don't have new month scaries hopefully that will stay the same today is february 26th maybe i literally don't know does it say on this sometimes it says on the camera what day you're filming no 27th today's the 27th so we have three days it's the morning of the 27th so we have three full days to reset and get ready for march I'm excited. First, I'm starting with a little pampering, a little self-care. I was just tweezing my eyebrows. Um, and now I'm gonna like trim them a little bit. So I just use a spoolie, brush them all up. Scissors that are kind of slanted like that. Brush up and I just kind of trim off the top. Not too much though. Oh, not too much. There we go, that looks so much better to me. I also have this random hair that grows right here. I always have to tweeze it. This is kind of painful, honestly. Okay, normally I use my like face shaver, but I'm being too lazy to get a new blade. I'm also gonna do a face mask. I've had these loops masks for a while honestly and i just haven't used them um so this one's deep puffing brightening hydrating antioxidant support okay now i just leave it on for 10 minutes i was just editing my last video and i noticed that there was like something on this the lens hopefully that is gone i did clean it but I don't know if it's still on there or not. Anyway, look it. This is proof that more is caught than taught. They are literally scrapbooking their Paw Patrol stickers into their journal. That is just about the cutest thing I've ever seen. I feel like every video I give you guys an update on how our New Year's resolutions are going. And one of our main ones, as you guys probably know, is cooking at home way, 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 way more. Like, way more. Like, six times a week. And I have been just so proud of us because I think this is the first time ever in our marriage that we have cooked this consistently. It's almost been a full two months, which probably doesn't sound like a lot, but, you know, we all have our own struggles, okay? We all have our own issues things that we are not very disciplined in um and i just am like so happy that i feel like we're at the other end in january i was kind of like okay i don't know if this is gonna stick i don't know if this is just like a new year's resolution vibe but now that we're about to go into march i'm like wow i'm genuinely so proud of us because we are really we're really doing it one of my biggest i'm looking up the recipe i'm gonna make tonight Sometimes when I just want something hearty, not hearty, but when I want something um, comforting, I love making these barbecue chicken sliders. Are you actually joking me? Did you see that first clip? Um, yeah, I need this in my life. So I'm going to make these, but I'm just going to shred the chicken in the crock pot first because it only needs to cook for like three hours. And it's just like barbecue chicken, Havarti cheese. I have this, I'll link my Pinterest down below because that's where I have all my like saved recipes. I do this recipe for the crock pot chicken and then I just, then I go to the slider recipe for the sliders. But this always turns out so good. It's, it doesn't get dried out when I cook it using this recipe. So that's why I use this one specifically. But now that we're going into month three of cooking consistently i thought it would be nice to kind of like document my feelings thoughts about how this is going and why i think it's going well honestly i am not i've never really struggled with body image like i've never restricted what i'm eating because of like 
how I look like I don't that's not like a good enough driving force like even going to the gym I won't go to the gym consistently because I like hate myself I don't, I've just never really struggled with body image consistently in that way not that I never do but it's not like a consistent aspect of my life where I just like hate how I look or want my pre-baby body back or anything like that so I knew that I wasn't going to be able to like basically guilt or like shame myself into eating at home more, eating healthier because it just doesn't work in other aspects of my life. But the main thing that did kind of change how I think is one, I think it's good to be around people, have friends, read books, watch YouTube videos of people that do struggle with body image because as a mom, you never know what struggles your kids will have. And if they have struggles that you've never experienced, hopefully you have paid attention to other people's stories. So at least you kind of have some background info on how people that struggle with different things think and what helps them. So I know that body image, weight, are main pillars of people's lives. That's why people eat healthy, that's why there's all these diets, because people care about how they look, people care about how they feel, people care about wanting to optimize their life to be the healthiest version they can be. And obviously that's something I think about for myself. I do think about body image not in like a I don't like how I look kind of way, but I do want to be healthy and I do want to feel good. Um, and on top of that, I also have children who are going to grow up and I don't know what struggles they're going to face. I don't know if they're going to face body image issues or health issues or anything like that. And also I'm raising boys who will grow to be men and these men will probably marry women and the women they marry might have body image issues or health issues or whatever. One of the ways I could set my kids up for success now is by contributing to their health in a way that is very tangible aka home cooked meals it's like one of the most simple basic ways that i can show up for my kids now and also their future selves and also their future spouses we know that your eating habits in your youth follow you into follow you into your later years of life and i do think it is the parents responsibility to set their kids up for success and this is also like a great way to just like love love on your kids and show up for them consistently so honestly that is like my main driving force it wasn't even that i necessarily wanted to like lose weight or like eat more vegetables or follow a diet or anything it's literally i don't want my kids to have a crippling eating out habit as they go into their teen years as they're going through puberty because they're just not going to be getting the nutrients that they need to tackle that stage of life also as young kids like obviously they're growing and they need nutrients they need home cooked meals anyway if you're like struggling finding the desire or the want to maybe that is something that could that you think about and will actually drive you to like make a major lifestyle change because i do feel like what you eat it like I honestly feel like I'm always in the kitchen now because of cooking. Cooking, Kaylin cleans the kitchen, so he's always in the kitchen too. And he helps me with dinner every single night. So it has like been an entire team effort to get this done, like to accomplish this. It's not easy. Genuinely, I feel like any time in the past where I have tried to do like a diet or eat a certain amount of vegetables every day, it consumes your entire life like your entire day it's what you think about because you're hungry so you're like always thinking about what your next meal is going to be how you're gonna get x y and z in your meal and it just becomes very consuming you lose it on the time where before when you were not cooking you were just eating out you were i don't know maybe doing other things so with cooking you lose out on a lot of that like free time that you had so i feel like the drive behind starting to cook more has to be convincing enough has to be good enough to where you actually will make the shift because every single day at 5 p.m i am in this kitchen me and kaylin are in this kitchen 
and we are cooking and he is cleaning and he is doing the dishes and every sunday we are at the grocery store grocery shopping we are meal planning like we have our list of meals from like basically this is the entire month of february i choose like five or six meals from for the grocery store and then we go on sunday and we get everything for them and i check them off as i make them this is like the most consistent ever i did make banana pancakes i did make this I did make these, we had these yesterday, and then I also did make this. So all of this stuff, besides the smoothies, I have cooked. It honestly has been so great. Like I feel so good and like such a good mom that I'm like showing up for my kids now. And this is something, this is a habit that is gonna follow them well into their adult years. Because I remember when I was growing up, my parents went through this huge health shift where my I don't know if it was like my dad who let it my like memory now is that like my dad this is kind of thing my dad spearheaded where he started meal prepping he would work out of town a lot so he would like meal prep chicken rice veggies and take that and ended up losing like a lot of weight got super healthy and then that bled into our lives so this was probably from the time i was like junior high until i moved out like all through high school and stuff and like his recipes and stuff are a lot of what my foundation now is for cooking and i'm just so like thankful that he did make that shift because it not only benefited his health but it also has benefited mine now well into my 20s i'm going to be 27 this year and it has now also benefited my children so it's just like a generational thing that you can do and it's like it's so amazing it's so rewarding i honestly feel like i could cry right now just thinking about it because i genuinely feel like it's one of the most selfless things that you could do for your children because we know that health and body image and weight is just something that haunts a lot of people day to day so if i can get ahead of that i think that's pretty amazing did i already put sugar in here i did okay um so anyway i'm just so proud of me and kaylin i'm like honestly proud of my parents for making that shift too because it genuinely is the foundation now of like how I like to eat and what I cook and vegetables that I like because my parents would make me vegetables so anyway it's pretty amazing I just think it's so cool and like such a huge win for my family I just cannot even get over it this is my life wrapped up in a bow I'm sitting here editing today's video my children one and two let me just show you their setup <laughs> he literally has a light snacks i love that other one hey same thing hung his light from the top Snacks. Love it. <laughs> Genuinely my life in a bow. I feel like it's only right that I show you guys the final reveal since I started making them, since I started making them on camera. Beautiful. Hi, okay, it's the next day. We need to, we need to get going because it's, <laughs> it's now the last day of February because yesterday I felt like I couldn't do anything because I was trying to finish bride by ali hazelwood so that i could include that in my reading wrap up because i just feel like i can't update my notion or my reading journal until i finished all of my reading for the month so now we have like a full day of notion reading journal updates planning video ideas cleaning my mess of a house thankfully my husband did sleep this morning so shout out to him now i have my march tbr picked from my tbr jar i just filmed that so i need to edit that and now i just feel like the month has officially come to a close as soon as i finish my last book for the month i feel like i cannot move on if i'm in the middle of a book so we are just gonna rapid fire this day i think i kind of want to go to duncan i don't know why i i don't really like duncan but for some reason i kind of want it right now i want to try i want something like i don't know i, I i'm like wanting a duncan coffee taste so we might try that and see see how it is went upstairs to ask kaylin if he wanted anything he's like i'm just gonna come with you honestly here it is it's freezing in texas again it's weird it was like 90 degrees was it 90 or was it 80 it was like 90 i think like a few days ago it was so hot like you had to wear shorts outside that's how hot it was 
Um, and today it's freezing, raining, like 30 degrees outside. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's do a cold brew. Okay. What kind? I do it small. Small cold brew. All right. Did you want cold foam on that? No, thank you. All right. Did you want any flavor shots in there or cream and sugar? Uh, no thanks. Okay, so it's a black cold brew. I think that's what I usually get. Mmm. Medium iced latte. Medium iced latte. Oh, I have any flavor shots for you? With um blueberry shots. And can I also do the butter pecan? Butter pecan. All right. Anything else today? Actually, on that cause. Thank you. Maybe that. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. I have what you wanted to have. Why are you so slow now? You used to not be like that. I need my coffee. I want to mix this to make it more white. Did you mix this for me in the summer? No. Some tomato in here. I'm nervous. That's sound good. Mm -hmm. What does yours taste like? Buttery. She's white. Salty. Okay. Giggle. What? Giggle. Why are you saying that? Giggle? Um, okay, I don't know. <gasps> you know what it is? I didn't get oat milk. That's real milk? You're drinking 2%? Yeah. Oh, I think I can taste it. I think that's why I don't like it. You I was going to say it tastes milky. Does it taste of fat? Like a skim, whatever it is? Hmm. I can't believe I forgot to get oat milk. You can't drink that. I can't. Okay, oat milk version is definitely much better. I can't even believe it. It's like night and day. They didn't let me swap it though. I paid for it. So, what a what quite an expensive trip to to Duncan. Okay, next we need to go to Notion and update my Notion. Also, I'm freaking excited because Sally Rooney announced her next book intermezzo so i don't know how you say that anyway i'm so excited it comes out a moving story of grief love and family september 2024 i need to add that to my reading journal because i read normal people in january and i loved it so much five stars it's the kind of book that i want to write when i write another book okay, first of all i read seven books in february so we're gonna up that to 14. book tracker 2024. <laughs>
cleaning this office. I'm just cleaning in general. I have a little PR package it's from Coco Kind. I think these are fuzzy socks. I love a fuzzy sock. Ooh, body care. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Stop it. I'm so excited for this. So they have their body retinol cream, a ceramide body oil stick, and this is the KP smoothing stick. I'm like so excited because Coco Kind is also sold at Target. So I wonder if these will be oh available February 25th exclusively at Target and Coco Kind. Stop. The office is done. It looks let me get out of the way because you can't even see. It looks so much better. I did end up ordering up gigantic chair that's gonna go right here so if you want to see when i put all that together and finish decorating follow me on instagram because i'm pretty sure that's where i'm gonna post that little transformation now i need to do some laundry Fun fact, I genuinely only do my laundry one day out of the whole month, and that is when I have to film these videos. I hate laundry. Um, you already owned it on Twitter?
March 1st. Happy new month, yay. I need to, March, did I say May? March, sorry. I need to run a quick errand to go pick something up. And I will not lie, I have bad intentions. But I can't say in front of my children. I have a major obsession right now that includes True Lime packets, Diet Dr. Pepper. This combo is so flipping good. And a Stanley with ice. Very, very good. It's like refreshing. It's like, it has like the perfect amount of like fizzy. Mm, so good. Yes. You want to look at it? When you put it in there. It doesn't do anything. It just goes in. What's that? It's just a little lime. Do you want to try it? Okay. You want to try a lime? Mm -hmm. It's still yummy. Yeah. Oh, there. I just want to try the lime. Lime? Mm hmm. Yay. Take it to the table. So I exchanged it for Mikhail. Really? easy on the eyes, yes. You should see him stretch. Okay, I reserved today to just focus on my reading journal. So let's update it. I haven't updated it since the same video I did last month. So it's been a full month. So it'll be fun to update it and like color everything in. I'll watch Gilmore Girls while I do that. Pookies. Okay, last day of the March reset. So I need to go to Target. I have a little, I have a little um, list in my notes. I need to grab some things for the boys' Easter baskets because I want to start doing. I only did an Easter basket, I think, in 2021. I'll insert a picture. I feel like I killed it, but honestly, I also feel like I put a lot of stuff in there that just did not stand the test of time, and. They were really young at that time. So I think from this year on, I'm going to try to do Easter baskets every year. So I have like a little list that I need to get some things. I also need to get a plunger because 
I think we all know why. I honestly thought, I, I never wanted to own a plunger personally. I just think that's not something I want to own. I don't want it. I like, how do you store it? It's not cute. It's not aesthetic. And I've discovered with having children, the dumping of toilet paper blobs it's happening more and more frequently, so I do need a plunger. <laughs> and I'm 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 mourning my past life. Everything else is like Easter basket stuff, and I think I'm gonna film like a whole reel on that. So again, follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna post a reel on day it. Did post a really cute reel on about my walking pad that you guys are loving. So shout out to you guys. Thank you for always like liking my liking my posts, commenting, engaging, loving me for me. I really do appreciate it so much. So, let's go to Target. Okay, I finished a Target. Now I'm at, can you guys see where I'm at? Oh, there we go, Barnes. I feel like I have to go to Barnes in every monthly reset video because that's when everybody like posts their wrap ups and their like TBRs for the next month. And I start getting ideas for books that I wanna read too. So I have some books after, <laughs> after watching Jack Edwards March TBR. Oh my goodness. He mentioned like two books that I literally was like, I need that right now. One of them is like written for not literally, but it's for the Sally Rooney girls. And there's a book that is like similar, similar vibes, different authors, similar vibes. So I want to see if this Barnes has it. It just came out um, in February. So let's see if they got it. And obviously we're going to peruse and we're going to walk around. So let's go. Why am I like interested in King Arthur after reading Legendborn? They have all the classics in the front. They're so pretty. Genuinely, I'm so thankful that Goodreads exists because I'm sorry, I'm not spending $20 on a book if it's not gonna be good. So let's do a little haul of books I approve of <laughs> by people that I either watch or follow their Goodreads reviews or whatever and am willing to risk spending. How much was this? $17 on a book. Okay, here we have The Fake Mate. If you liked Bride by Allie Hazelwood, Heather McCleary on YouTube, I love watching her videos, like comfort YouTuber, top tier. She recommends reading this after reading Bride. Reading in the music. Oh, oh, hello. And she actually said she thought it was too much spice in Bride. So I feel like with those parameters, I trust her recommendations entering the Omegaverse because not too much, okay? Not too much. Um, so we have the fake mate. They're both werewolf shifters. <laughs> the way that I want to like literally drop every book I'm reading right now and just start this because yeah, yeah. I am a Twilight girl at heart. Okay, then we have the push. This is all about generational trauma among women. Talks about like mental health issues and things like that and how that's like passed down generationally and then how that affects motherhood and how you're, how you become a parent. I'm a little nervous for this one because if you know anything about my story, you know that 
mental health issues and it's a huge pillar in my life I hardly ever talk about it I basically don't talk about it at all but that's why I picked this up mental health women motherhood and how that all interacts together uh, I'm so excited for this one bear town by Frederick back Backman I think I called him Bachman last time Backman why did they have to put this on here though they really did not need to do that um, anyway, I'm so excited for this. I believe these are actually um, translated to English. And yeah, I cannot wait. It's about like a small town hockey. It's supposed to be like really heartfelt. I think there's like four books or something in this series. And Lexi on YouTube, she really, really, really loves this series. So I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to pick it up. Then we have All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. Again, was not going to pick this up. And then I saw it was the last one and I went on Goodreads and oh my goodness, you guys love this one. So I was like, fine, fine, fine. Twist my arm. Mariana Zapata is like queen of slow burn. The most touching you're getting is like arms brushing against each other or like hands grazing each other like that. So I'm really excited for it. the tension. Give me the tension, give me the banter, honestly. Okay, and then this one is the book that I was talking about is Sally Rooney Vibes. It's called Green Dot by, Na by Madeline Gray. I also love that name, Madeline Gray. Those words just feel like, I feel like they just go together. Um, I have no idea what this one's about. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm gonna just gonna go into it blind and just be there for the vibes. And then the last one I picked up is Piglet. Why did I not know that both of these, I should have known because these are both new releases that they are hardbacks. I don't love a hardback, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be fine. I want to see if there's like any secret. Oh, they're just plain. Ooh, that's pretty though. The green. And also, why is it the like dust jacket? Why doesn't it fit? Like it's kind of too small for the, for the book, which is probably why this is all like cut up now. And then even this one is too small. Like it's is that normal? I'm like, I feel like my hardcovers, my hardbacks at home don't do that. And then this one also doesn't have a secret design or anything, which I'm kind of sad about. I wish there was something back there. Anyway, this one says an elegant razor sharp debut about women's ambitions and appetites and the truth about having it all. I am so excited for this, like truly so excited for this. So that's my little haul. And I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm kind of hungry, but do I eat out or do I go home and make food at home? That's the question. That's the question of the day. I did have in I did have Chick-fil-A twice last week, so it's kind of giving go home and eat your food, eat your groceries. Thanks so much. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Your new girl is my clone Ready to see if there were flashing lights At least I had the decency to keep my nights out of sight I think about jumping off a very tall somethings To see you come running and say the one thing I've been wanting for love I don't think I ever showed you guys my favorite breakfast, lunch, girl dinner meal ever. I eat this, well, probably because there's four bagels in here, four times a week. Um, it's so good. Sometimes I have it for breakfast and then I'll also have it for dinner. I love living in Texas because we get H-E-B and these bagels are made in their bakery. 
department. So they're fresh jalapeno cheddar bagels. What's better than that? Yes. Then I do a hash brown patty. They sell these at Trader Joe's, but I just get them from H&B. These are my favorite because they have a lot of salt and it tastes good. And then I love the Applegate salt chicken sausage, the maple one. And I do two patties because honestly they're pretty thin. And especially with lifting again, sis be so hungry that one is just not gonna do it for me. Yeah, it's only 60 calories, five grams of protein for one, so I eat two. I'm gonna cook my egg in this, this tiny little pan. And I use these eggs. I just like how these taste. I actually don't like eggs at all, but I recognize that I need the nutrients from them. I don't even know how much protein is in an egg. I know that I need to eat it, so I just don't season it. I just do olive oil, egg, that's all. And sometimes I will add red pepper flakes because I love spice. I think I'm out. So we're just gonna do just the egg. Does that sound gross to anybody? I just can't, I really don't like eggs and I feel like if you season it, then you can smell it and taste it. And I just, I'd rather not. Cheese. two in that genre, so the first. Toast your bagel. Tribe. Yeah. A little bit. Why do we care? She wants the blood. Yeah. 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 Y